friends welcome back to my channel I received a comment on my Instagram my viewer asking me to share the test procedure for this IC MC14075 BCP it is from Motorola it's a triple three input or gate we can also select from CD4075 it is the same if you will select from MC then it will become MC1 the other number will remain same if we check the data sheets for the both items yes it is from Motorola MC14075 triple 3 input or gate and here is the pin out of that IC pin 1 2 8 input pin number 9 output 3 4 5 input 6 output 11 12 13 input 10 output and if we see this one it is CD 4075B the same 1 2 8 input 9 output 3 4 5 input 6 output 11 12 13 input 10 output 7 ground and 14 VDD it have wide supply range 3 volt to 18 volt okay let's start I am selecting CD4075 either we can select CD4075 or MC14075 I am placing here when we are testing these CMOS and TTLICs, always take care for the polarity because if you will correct the supply in reverse ways, we will damage the IC. We will correct positive voltage. I am using 12 volt positive voltage here, and I will connect ground line to the lower rail. 1, 2, 3 inputs. If you will say 1, 2, 8, number 9 is output. And the second, 3, 4, 5, 6 output. 11, 12, 13, 10 output. If any one pin will high, the output will high. If all inputs are low, output will low. If any one or all inputs are high, the output will high. Let's check it. For that purpose, I will use this LED. We will connect the shorter lead to the ground and we will connect one resistor, one kilo ohm resistor here and we will test one by one gate okay we connected one resistor one kilo ohm this is our output signal first of all we will check the output number nine it is seven pin IC one two three four five six seven eight and this is pin number nine now we will apply positive voltage to pin number 14 and we will connect ground to pin number 7 we connected ground and we supplied positive voltage now we will connect three inputs and first of all we will connect the three of them 1 2 8 we will connect to ground this is number 2 input number 1 and pin number 8 we will connect all of them to ground so that the output must be low and then we will take one by one to positive we connected pin number 9 one kilo ohm LED and ground this end is ground 
and this resistor is connected to LED and this is pin number 9 pin number 1, 2 and 8 1, 2 and 8 we connect it to ground so this time the LED is off if I will connect any one lead to positive or it is open the LED will high if I will return back to ground LED is low now I will change pin number 1 to positive LED is on. Now I will connect pin number 9 to positive. Anyone, either it is 1, 2, or 9, or all of them are connected to positive, the output will high. Very simple example. Here is wife, husband, and their son three people in the room if anyone will present anyone out of three will present are all of them are present the light will on the home will active if all of them not present at the home the lights will remain off all of them are not available light is off anyone is at home two of them are at home or all of them are at home the light is on we tested one gate let's check the other gates now we will connect to pin number six this is our output pin we will connect to pin number six here is pin number six three four five input this is our 4 5 and we will bring this pin to pin number 3 the same formula it is example of R gate all of them are away the light is off anyone reach so light is on both out of three if father is available son is available or mother is available father is available light is on or father and son anyone out of three or all of three are available the light is on the home is active now let's check the last gate 10 11 12 13 this is our output pin I will remove the inputs and this is 8, 9, 10. This one is output pin and we will connect the three inputs here. All of them are present, light is on. If all inputs are available, light is on. If two of them are available, light is on one of them is available available means that means it have positive supply so it is available if all of them are not present the light is off any one input or all inputs are available high output will high what are the input levels to determine which input is high which one is low if you are using 10 volt at that time the low level will be considered 3 volt less than 3 volt at this these pins will considered as low input so because it is logic level monitor if the input voltage are greater than 7 volt in our condition we are using 10 volt so it will considered VIH minimum high voltage VIL maximum input low maximum so we have a window here 0 volt in our case when we are selecting 10 to 15 volt VCD 
at that time the input level 3 volt to 4 volt we can say 3 volt and above 7 volt it will be considered high less than this low so this is the logic level 3 volt low 7 volt high between this if there there is open circuit it will go in toggle state sometime it will say it is high sometime it will say it is low when we will connect to ground it is turned off when we will give a logic level you can see here it is not making a good scene when it will take high voltage that means above then this window the logic level minimum level at that time it will decide perfectly so in this way we can test this IC I hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh